Nail or beauty school was just the beginning, right? What on earth do you do now? Welcome to the Salon Success Podcast with Monaco Nail Academy. Our topics stretch beyond nails and into all things salon related, business marketing and social media, and at very least hits you with real honest stories about our experiences. This isn't school, this is real life, real business and really freaking hard work. The Salon Success Podcast is recorded live on Mondays at 5pm New Zealand time via facebook.com forward slash Monaco Nail Academy and available on Spotify and Google Playlists. Before we get started, wherever you are, please thumbs up, tag a friend in the comments or hit that share button and support small business. So, hey guys, you are here with Jesse today and we have a couple of new faces. Um, we have <laughs> Alyssa here on my right and we have Teresa here on my left and I have no idea what the camera is doing, so don't judge me on those positions. But today we have been um, in an advanced training class, so we've both of these girls aren't new to Monaco. They have both received their foundation certificate and they've come back today for e-file training. So we will go through a few different questions, but then we're going to come back and talk about a bit of what we learned today. And hopefully um, a few of you find that interesting if it's something that you've considered um, offering in your business. And even if it's not something you're considering, um, I hope it helps to just sort of discuss the stigma regarding e-file a little bit. So I'm excited to discuss that. So um, to kick things off, we're going to talk about um, real life as a nail tech. So we're going to jump in and talk about what we always talk about. What was the hardest thing about running your salon this week? So we both have um, all three of us. I don't believe. Are you full time in the salon? Yeah, I am. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, so do you mind us starting with you, Alyssa? Are yeah, you ready sure, for that? Yeah. Okay, so what was the hardest thing that you... Um, found about running your business this week this week um actually i had my first two no shows this week so oh, <laughs> your first two yes how long have you been working so i've been doing nails since so maybe june last year yeah so june last year and but just full time since april okay similar um, to me. yeah so i've only just started picking up since april this year yeah to the point one was like an accident she left her phone at the breast home and didn't get her notification and then one just didn't show up at all and even when i text they did not reply at all so yeah that was probably the most difficult that. thing this week i like messaged them really nicely and hopefully they return but they get yeah. a thumbs down on my booking system so yeah that's yeah. not nice <laughs> it's good though that you have a booking system that helps you to remember <clears throat> to be cautious of that client yeah so I don't know what happens if they get too many thumbs down. I don't know if I'll get like a ban. Or... I don't know. Is it me? But I feel like not getting your reminder is not good enough. Like you should know. Yeah. Right? Who forgets an appointment? Yeah. Well, there are I lots forget, of people. I forget <laughs> like hair appointments. Like sometimes I'm in, I, I go and book in to my hair salon straight away because I know that they have a long wait list. Mm. So, um, yeah, Penny Hostetler yeah, ghosted. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you get ghosted quite a lot. Like, because they're embarrassed and they don't want to have to pay a fee for yeah. being rude. What's, I don't charge a fee yet because I, I haven't got that build up yet. I let them get away with it the first time. Usually mm. it's a pretty good reason. And then the second time I talk to them and I just say, because some people book straight through me, they don't use my schedule. Mm. And so if they book straight through me and they're typically kind of flaky, I say, can you please book through my system? Because it takes their number or their email and sends them a reminder. So I know they've got no excuse. Um, and I haven't yet um, come across somebody that's then no show for that but if i did i would be texting them asking them for um not for a deposit i'd ask them to pay 50 percent of their service fee yeah. but you have to put that on your like policies and policy mm -hmm. and yeah. price list so that they know that that's something that can happen like Is there you can't just can out of the blue half up front like, is there with my booking yeah. system yeah you can you can, you can set that up yeah but 
Um, Even a small deposit, like ten dollars or something. Um, I'm not too sure quite how that works, but like I haven't had the need to do it mm. yet. Yeah. But like I think if I get any more from this point onwards, I yeah. will have to start introducing that. Especially stuff. with you being full time now, yeah. like that's your livelihood. And, yeah. Yeah. Because it kind of makes you feel like you've already invested, so yeah. I'm gonna lose money if I don't show up. Yeah. But you know, why would you not want to? Yeah. But yeah, like as I was saying about the hairdressers, like sometimes it's like three months in advance. But mm. I make sure, like like normal, non rude people, <laughs> tend to write something on their hand. Or I find those cards don't do anything; they right. just sit in my wallet. In my phone yeah, yeah. So I stand there with my phone, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to put it in right now, or I'll forget. Um, and then I put it in my calendar at home. So yeah, yeah like I don't think I've ever just straight out forgotten. No. But if they're a returning customer, you think they'd be going, one will definitely be with returning. With nails. So, am I due to go to see Yeah. So one, yeah. Is, one client is from the girl I work with. Right. She's her client and decided to book in with me before she went away to America. And so, of course. Well, now she's going to go with no nails. I know. She <laughs> is. I was so close to saying yes to coming in on my day off. But I was like, no, because I'm going up to course Good. on Sunday. Yeah. Sunday and Monday are usually my days Good off, and I'm not going to have them. So I was like, no, sorry. Like, I really want to see my partner this week. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah. And then that will teach her the I mean, importance also, yeah. of it. Yeah. Especially because, like, you've got to prep them now for when you do get busy hmm. and you won't be able to fit them in. Yeah. So when Christmas rolls around. Exactly. Yeah. And they're like, oh, but you were able to squeeze me in. See, I feel like I'm going to make that a priority in the next few months to sort out. Get that. them ready for Christmas. Eh? Because I know that during Christmas, some people create a separate Facebook page for their clients and they're just like, okay, this is my waitlist Facebook page. And then literally they'll have like a no show and they can jump straight on their Facebook page and be like, okay, girls, who's waiting yeah, for a job? My brow lady does that. Yeah. It's yeah. a cancellation page. Yeah. And we all jump on those cancel cancellations because she's yeah. always booked out. See, and I feel like yeah, if yeah. I had a cancellation book page that was like, Pumping, I feel like I'd made it in life. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty yeah, that's cool. A really good idea. Yeah. Um, it. what was the hardest thing about you running your business this week? Teresa? Well, I'm only part time, and even then, it's part part time, so it's almost like a quarter time. Um, <laughs> yeah, I was the same. So, really, it's just we've got a lot going on in the rest of our life. So, I was only able to fit in two people this weekend yeah. but that's because there is so much other stuff happening that we've got to take that priority at the minute so and what I think is quite hard about that is you want to be doing nails but because the rest of your life is busy and takes priority it's actually really hard to get returning clients because you can't always fit them in mm. yeah and at the moment because we're moving and we're moving location as well I'm yeah. not really trying hard yeah. to get the return clients so it is just friends friends of friends yeah. mums, friends, friends, mums, friends. So, and if they come back, that's great. And I want them to come back, but they all know that we'll be moving yeah. in like eight months. Yeah. So, but it's just still, I kind of feel that guilt because, you know, I've got small kids too and I work full time as well. So when the weekends do roll around, it's like, yeah, hey, I'm just going to go in and shut the door. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, you're crying. Yeah, that's hard. so that's been hard this week. And my little girl is exceptionally clingy at the minute too, so that makes it even harder. <laughs> when they go through those phases when you least need it. <laughs> well, it's just and because they've not been well the last couple of weeks, yeah. and so it's just really difficult to. So I've got a baby gate on my office door. So when I shut the gate, she just kind of looks at me and I'm like, please don't start. And then I shut don't the door. Don't do that to me. I'm like, I'm really sorry. Let me just turn the music up so we can drown out the crying child. Yeah. <laughs> that would be amazing. Which, which is fine because while they're my friends or they're yeah. friends of friends, yeah. it's fine. But, you know, if I was actually no. having a customer, I'd be like, this I is would really feel very awkward. awkward if I was When here. I first started, it was like mainly house, friends. Good. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, when I first started, it was mainly friends, and I would always start my, and people would always be like, you're crazy, you can't start your late night at 7 o'clock, you'll be doing nails till 11, and I'm like, yeah. okay, but I've got children, like, I have no yeah. other choice, and, and I'd say that to, works well for my friends who also yeah, have kids, exactly. so they come over when they've gone to sleep. Yeah, and so it was good, but then there'd be the odd time where 
your kids just having a meltdown because they want mummy to read the story and no amount oh, of yeah. reasoning with them like i'm i have a paying client yeah. in front of me just because you <laughs> decided to go to bed at eight o'clock tonight oh, yeah no. so i uh, yeah that is hard and I had a that, really big sleep at daycare today oh super <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's gonna work out really well for me yes but yeah, um, I, I found that all that has dissipated since I've moved out into the cabin. That's the thing that once we move and I've got an external to the external house door, situation, yes. then it's like, and because that's also, I have to make sure that my house is exceptionally clean all the time, which with two young children is impossible. Yeah. I can't yes. even tell you the amount of anxiety that left my body when oh. the cabin came. It's like, excuse me, just please don't look at this part as you come because down the hallway yeah. into my office. Because it's perfect the lounge. Oh. all the time. And like I can disinfect the files and then I can close the door. I even sometimes set up my now desk ready for my next client in three days. Oh, I know. I don't have to pack anything away. Yeah, that would be so nice. And, yeah, like I found that when I was doing it at home, even when it was a late night, from the morning I was stressed about the house keeping clean. Yeah. And I'd be on my kids like, you're such slobs. You're so lazy. <laughs> yeah. rah, 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 rah. I feel I like totally. I've turned into that mum that is just, you know, they're yeah. young. If they're going to bring toys out. They're going to just get scattered everywhere. Yeah, and I felt like it was just ruining my day. And then what annoyed me the most is that I realised I'm quite highly strung when it comes to cleanliness and tidiness. Mm -hmm. And all my clients would come in and be like, Man, your house is spotless. And you always, like, how do you keep your house kind of, spotless? Even though you know it's clean inside, you're like, I'm so sorry, Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, just, and they're like, but then oh, you what you like stuff? Stuff. I, I could have been less tidy and they still would have been okay. Yeah. Like, no, yeah. But I from, just, yeah. Um, otherwise, I'm going to get dividing petitions from the front door <laughs> through the lounge into the yeah. hallway yeah. and then block off the hallway so it's literally a tunnel <laughs> out of my office. It would be cool at Halloween if you like that start would be like, like hobbies. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. So yeah, that um that was the long way around. Just distract them if they're walking out. <laughs> Get some like fairy lights and crystals. Like, look at the here. dirt. <laughs> look at the confetti. <laughs> yeah, so that was a long way around of my frustrations this week. Yeah, I I get it. I get it all. <laughs> um my um my hardest part was I spent my whole week stressing about this one client. We're doing e-filing today and my e-file currently is broken. And I was just telling them how much I actually miss it now that it's broken and I don't have one. Um, and I have a client, I had a client coming in and she um, came to me for dip and then she couldn't get into me. And so I went to a different salon for another dip and I know that it was a non-standard salon and I'd already removed that product from her nails when she first started coming from me and it was impossible. And so I knew that she was coming back with that product on her nails and I didn't have an e-file. And so I spent all week stressing about it and then she didn't show up. <laughs> and then I realized that her not showing up was actually my fault, not her fault. So she wanted to come in a few weeks ago for she'd snapped a nail off. She's a gardener. And she had said, oh, I have a voucher from a friend to get my nails done. So I'm just going to go and use it to get this repair. And she said, I will see you on the, whatever it was, 25th for my pedicure and my, oh, no, no, no. She said, so please cancel my next appointment. And I thought her next appointment was the repair we had booked in two days later. And I didn't cancel her appointment for this week. So she used the repair to get a new dip. Oh, right. So actually I like dodged a bullet, but then I'm still <laughs> going to have to remove that salon product next time she comes back. Yeah. Anyway, the point is I spent my whole week stressing about it and then she didn't end up showing up. So it was like double whammy. So like I was anxious about it and I lost all the money from it. <laughs> so win-win. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Lose-lose. All right, so we'll move on to happier things. Um, so we're going to talk about. Oh no, we're not. We're going to talk about one ups. So this might be a new thing for you girls. So something we like to do around here is one ups. We talk about it quite often. Mm -hmm. A one up takes the idea of constant improvement and makes it bite sized. So clients. 
um, are impressed when they're constantly seeing improvement. Mm -hmm. um, and I know that that sounds daunting to constantly be doing one-ups, but if we do one small thing every fortnight, um, that improvement is consistent but achievable. Mm -hmm. So what is something that you girls think you can yeah. do in the upcoming fortnight to one-up your business? Well, now I have a shiny new e-file certificate that will be on my wall. So that yeah. is my one. Yeah. It's definitely a um, But I've also got a stash of glitters that I've purchased that are only coming out a few at a time. You have a lot of self-control. We've talked about this so many times. Yeah. And Penny suggests that we only yeah. bring out two or three at a it's, time. It does take a lot of like, oh, I've got... Yeah. Huh. Nothing. And then, <laughs> nothing for you. <laughs> and then Penny admitted that she went against that and know, released the them colors. all at once. I've got them all. Here they are. <laughs> and then we were like, well, thanks for the advice. kind of coming out so do you do that to not give them lots to choose from or to kind of keep it interesting well, so just to kind of keep it interesting back. and because i bought a couple of new colors uh, when i was at the beauty expo but yeah. because i've had rotating customers yeah. so summer it's now been three or four weeks and my last person is going to be seeing 